para las personas que hablan español, yo no voy a hablar español en este programa. Sorry, if you're Spanish, you're going to have to listen in English. Now, Gonzalo Curiel, he is the federal judge that is presiding over one of the Trump University civil cases. Donald Trump said he's not getting a fair shake because the man's Mexican. Paul Ryan, Speaker of the House, said that this was racist. This created a firestorm for other Republicans. Now, Mitch McConnell, who anyone who's a regular watcher of this program knows that I despise his lack of backbone, okay? Despise. But even he, even Mitch McConnell had the intelligence to not say that it was racist. He was on the talk show circuit and they asked him repeatedly, was this a racist comment? Was this a racist comment? All of the little empty headed, pretty faced, handsome faced, teleprompter reading journalists trying to pile on saying that it's a racist statement. That Trump said that Gonzalo Curiel could not get, would not give him a fair shake because of Gonzalo's politicas, because of his political views. So Trump is now being called a racist. No surprise. Imagine, surprise. I was so shocked when I woke up and found out that the national press was saying that Trump was racist. Don't worry. The Nazi one is coming up. The, he's a Nazi is coming up soon. Trust me, it's coming. So it comes out that Gonzalo Curiel is a member of an association called La Raza, the race. You, you have to have backbone of steel and either brains of mush or fierce contempt. Fears contempt for a standard of justice. So I, I come back to my original question. What if it was discovered that the Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, was the member of a group called the race? La raza. That's what la raza means in Spanish. The race. And it's for Hispanic lawyers. La raza that gave the Clintons over a half a million dollar, dollars for various speeches. La Raza, whose reason for existence is to push an agenda, a political agenda that benefits Mexicans, Hispanics, at the expense of non-Hispanics, often, okay? They have lawyers on the ground when illegal immigrants are coming into the country. La Raza has <laughs> attorneys on the ground making sure that their civil rights are not being violated. They're in the middle of committing a crime. Yes, I know that that man is actually robbing a store, but I want to make sure that his civil rights are not being violated while he robs the store. They're in the middle of a criminal act. And these lawyers... La raza, the race, they're defending their civil rights. So imagine if Paul Ryan, Paul Ryan, who said that what Donald Trump said was racist. Imagine if Paul Ryan was in a group for white people, an association for white people called La Raza, the race. And its goal was to make sure that white people had a separate standard of justice, that they could commit crimes and while those crimes were being committed, they would be ensured that their civil rights were being protected. Do you see the, the insanity of what Ryan said? The racist is Curiel. Gonzalo Curiel. If there's anyone who's a racist here, it's the federal judge. He's the one who's the member of the race, the raza. Now, again, there is only one race, the human race. We come from two parents. That's it. All right? So I'm not going to take the bait that because I or anyone else speaks about a, an ethnic group that has a history and a preponderance to do or to say a certain thing or an ethnicity-based association. So if it's white-only club, if it's a white-only club, you're a racist if you belong.
That's, that's the standard that the liberals have set up. Well, it's a Hispanic only club called audaciously the race and the judge belongs to it. But Trump is a racist for saying that Trump can't get a fair trial <laughs> from a man who's a member of the race.